Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Friday, July 19th, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. I will just jump into this here. And that is to say, you know, uh, on Tuesday of this week, we settled below this two, three-week channel bottom that today is at 129.27. Uh, uh, we were in a, a short sale mode already, as you may recall from several days earlier, that hesitation. Uh, we then introduced this channel bottom as kind of like the next shoe to drop on that sell signal. And that's uh, what's played out. We're, you know, I don't know numerically exactly, but 70% of the way to our objective anyway, in just a short two or three three days, the 112.11 to 113.46 uh, channel convergence, able to contain selling not only through next week, but even through August, perhaps. I'm going to say through the rest of July, because what would shape up then would be this descending channel top, which is nothing more than a trend line now. But once we test this channel bottom, uh, which is a channel, uh, then this becomes a channel top, uh, and that becomes a more meaningful resistance level that has strong pivot point qualities as we move into August. So what I will say, uh, I think simply you can just see it on this chart, that once we test the 110s, the 11211 to 113.46 area, you can buy that in anticipation of really the low 130s, uh, because the descending channel top converges with this former rising channel bottom over the next full week of activity, and it really does become kind of an upper 120s, low 130s objective once we, if we test 112.11 to 113.46. Um, we've got yesterday's low of 121.29, which is our downward pivot point for today. So you can see how we've got a bit of a double bottom going there Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, I could actually zoom in, I think, on a different, on a different chart. Uh, let me see. Bear with me. I'm going to make quick work of this. I don't want to leave you waiting, uh, but I'm going to zoom in. Let's see. Bear with me here. There it is. Okay. So you can see we've got a bit of a double bottom here uh, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. Uh, we actually put out a new move low, closed higher on the day. There is a bit of a hint of a momentum reversal just based on that alone. Um, we do have this big gap here, uh, but holding above yesterday's uh, – sorry, did I say – it wasn't it wasn't um 129 20, 121 29 was not yesterday's low it was the last price that we have here 121 29 uh is bear with me this coincidence so this is a descending channel top so i know i'm throwing a lot at you right now i will back up a bit and re-clarify 129 29 is a one week descending channel top steeply descending channel top that by coincidence is roughly in the vicinity of where we settled out on thursday it does have pivot point qualities opening holding below 129 to 121 29 will keep our targeted 112 11 to 113 46 area in reach possibly today this is, if open below, a short sale area, but I would be careful. Obviously, you know that with NVIDIA, this thing can just move so fast in such a short period of time. With yesterday's new low, higher settlement on the day, we almost put out a key reversal high. In other words, we almost closed above Wednesday's high after breaking Wednesday's low, uh, and that was a new move low. That in itself, that um, bullish engulfing pattern in candlestick speak, uh, does uh, indicate uh, an oversold market and one that is inclined to correct. We may be in that already. In fact, if we open today above 121.29, it becomes day support that does allow 129.27 today. So, you know, it's a Friday and all. And so opening above 129, 121.29 will allow 129.27 intraday where we can top out 
through next week and from there fall away once again to this channel support, convergent channel support in the 110s. Uh, certainly closing above 129.27 is a sign of strength in the next week. We're not going to do that, but I will just say that if we did, uh, I'm only indicating 139.02 within another three to five days. And that is our upward pivot point, 139.32. I don't show it anywhere, but that is our upward pivot point as we continue into August trade. Right now, 129.27, uh, I don't know if we'll see it today or not. But if we do happen to uh, push, especially open above 121.29, 129.27 in reach. My goodness, how do we say all these numbers? All the minor points, by the way, have been carefully chosen. They're all very tradable, uh, 124.04, 125.80, et cetera, et cetera, on the way up to 129.27. Once again, opening below that uh, 121.29 level will keep our convergent channel structures in the 112.11 to 113.46 region in reach today, uh, where we can, once again, bottom out not only through next week, uh, but even, um, yes, through next week, but even into August trade, as the low 130s, upper 120s would become uh, a two to three week objective if we closed uh, if we tested 112.11. So um, I'm going to jump to kind of the bigger picture. Obviously, we're very close to this area. It does have significant pivot point qualities through the rest of July. But if we were to close below 112.11, I'm going to jump to the weekly chart now and show you the very same structure as at 113.43 all week long. So obviously, if we close today below 112.11, we're also closing the week today, Friday, below 113.43. And I then see what is presently a convergent zone between 88.52 and 97.40. As a realistic, this could be, bear with me, this could be within two to three weeks. It could take a little longer, but I think with, uh, you know, the tendency for NVIDIA to have heightened volatility, especially over the last uh, six months or so, that closing today below the 112.11 area sets up uh, 97.40 as I'm going to call it a one to two week objective. And you've got this rising channel bottom call coming off this prominent October 22 low uh, that is also backing this area up. It converges in August. Over the next few weeks, it all converges in the uh, what I would call the upper 90s. So that would become our next objective. This is going to be an important test for the market. Uh, this area, I think, is even more significant than the 112.11 to 113.46 area in that it may well absorb selling uh, into the fourth quarter, and we can round up from there. Uh, this thing does not look pretty at all if we were to close below this 88.52 to 97.40 region over the next month or two. But I'm, you know, we're not expecting that. Uh, we could test it if we close today below 112.11. I think that that pretty much rounds it out. Um, you know, check out wicketstocks.com. We offered a couple stock picks this week. Uh, you can see them for free by signing up for wicketstocks.com. We also do uh, uh, triple Q and spy analysis, uh, the NASDAQ 100 and the triple Q testing a four and a half year channel top over the last few weeks. We came off of it, obviously, over the last um, uh, you know week or so. Uh, and I think that that pretty much rounds it out. I'm going to leave you with this chart for the day. I'll be back Sunday afternoon with Monday's NVIDIA and you have a great weekend.